Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So today's reading is uh, for lovely, lovely Leos and um, I'm saying plural as well because there's two people already in this reading. It feels like besties, it feels like best friends, people who work together, play together, like do everything together. It's like ride or die energy. I'm saying that because I've got these songs like um, Best Friend by Doja Cat and Sawitie. Sawitie, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, so she's my best friend. She's a real bad bitch. <laughs> I wasn't going to swear and then I swore. I'm definitely not going to say the other word. Um, um, got her own money. Um, yeah, so uh, it's like, it, it does feel like ride or die, best friend. Uh, maybe this could be talking about a best friend that you have now or like your best friend in like your teenage years, your best friend growing up, right? So really like, I'm really getting ride or die. Um, and I've also got Give It To Me by uh, Timberland, Nelly Furtado and Timberlake. Now, um, Timberland and Nelly Furtado particularly are standing out to me because they had this like working friendship relationship. Apparently they got on really well. Apparently they're still friends. Uh, so um, yeah, it feels like like working together, but like like co-workers but also best friends or like two best friends who have created a business together or something like this it feels like um I was also with this kind of like bestie energy it's like really sort of like love hearty and kind of um now if for those male male leos out there or leos who think I am not girly at all um I don't know why it's coming through like this so if this isn't your part of the reading just skip this little bit but um I'm really getting this kind of like you know like I was like drawing love hearts and stuff and like putting love hearts around certain words it's very kind of like girly kind of tweeny kind of energy um and I had a dream last night as well and it, it was like I was given this Barbie doll uh but the Barbie doll had like big like almost like Bratz eyes so if you know the difference between the two dolls uh Bratz are like they're all eyes and lips um and Barbie's slightly more proportional but she does have like massive eyes so it's like and I, it was like a new design of this Barbie it was like Barbie's been redesigned she's now got these like massive kind of like almost like like Japanese cartoon eyes um and I can see how that fits to me as well like I've got Leo rising so for me I've got big eyes it's like I feel like it's one of my better features so I'd really emphasize them I put on fake lashes I put on some like white eyeliner on the inside of my eye to kind of like really make open them up and make them big um so I know I know that my eyes are you know a good asset and I, I kind of need to like emphasize that to draw attention away from the bits that I don't like as much so um yeah and have you been using that you know that cartoonify app I don't know if some of you have been doing that as well and it like it makes your eyes and your lips massive you do look like a Bratz doll so um there could be something like that going on for you maybe you've been doing that and you're like ha, oh, I look like a Barbie you look like a Bratz doll yeah I don't know something like that um so uh Barbie and Bratz it's like it feels like that's the two best friends right um but it, yeah this thing about a new design it was like it didn't quite work so there could be something with like a rebranding or a redesign where it doesn't quite work it's like almost like if you were like Barbie's work as Barbie's like Barbie is a brand it's a brilliant band brand Bratz is like a brilliant brand as well like works really really well but it's like you can take a component from one and put it into the other and it won't work so it's like it's like be who you are, be unique, be yourselves. Um, don't try and if you have got some kind of brand, it's like don't try and you don't have to try and be like your competitor. You don't have to try and emulate your competitor. Um, it's like do your own thing and stand on your own two feet because what your competitor does, it may work for them, but it may not work for you. So there could be something like that where it's like it feels false, it feels wrong. It just it's not it's not your style, right? Um, it's like, what are your best assets? What are your best features? What do you need to emphasize? I'm just gonna quickly check that that is, isn't my door that somebody's knocking on. I think we're okay, I think it's the neighbor. Uh, so yeah, just be careful if you're doing something like that. I don't know if some of you are influencers. I was kind of getting like social media influencers. Uh, maybe you do kind of like produce some kind of content. Um, influencer lifestyle you could be wanting to live that influencer lifestyle or be living it um you know like going out to clubs and stuff both of those songs are kind of like they have this kind of clubby um vibe to it um or you're wanting recognition for something you're wanting you may be doing something where you're comparing yourself to other people thinking um you know i feel like the stuff that i'm creating the the work that i'm doing is 
um, as good, if not better, as like those other people. So why are they getting the recognition? Why are they getting uh, the numbers and I'm not? There could be something like that happening for some of you, not all of you, right? Mixed messages here. Um, you, some of you may be faking it till you make it. So kind of like living that kind of like luxury clubby lifestyle, but not actually having the funds to do it. Uh, some of you do have the funds to do it. You know, in that song, she, you know, she says she makes her own money. So, um, or maybe you're seeing your friend, maybe like, maybe there's two of you and your friends having a certain amount of success and you're not but it's like you're you're piggybacking off each other it's like you know i'll i'll raise you up and then you know you can raise me up so you see celebrities do that quite often where it's like uh because one person's famous you know the the people around them get famous and then like if one of those people has a popularity in their own right it kind of like then like lifts up that other person as well so it's like sharing a fan base something like this um Okay. Also, what uh, one zero zero one could be a significant number for you. Uh, I don't know. Maybe your best friend's born on the first of the tenth or the tenth of the first. I don't know. Um, okay, mum hair. Oh, my mum was in the dream. It's the first dream that I've had that had my mum in it uh, since she passed away. Um, and I, could, I can remember her th hair falling forward. But again, it could just be something about like the way people look, like the hair, the eyes, the lips. Um, okay. Also, there's something going on with the cards. Um, I do you see? Do you see the way they look? It's like there's something about like the I don't know. Again, it could be like a rebranding. So the oracle cards I'm using, one's blue and one's white, like this kind of white color. Again, like blue and white. They could like it feels like rebranding, um, or like again like a Barbie and Bratz, like two different two different looks, two different options. A collaboration I'm not sure so uh, the words that have come out for you are beside ever but want moment and again I'm getting that kind of like bestie like b-side it's almost bestie um, and it's like b-side as well so it could be like again uh, Timberland's uh, record producer and Nelly Furtado's uh, an artist so it could be like listen to someone's b-side it's like the b-side you know what they didn't think was good is actually better than you know the 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 song that they're leading with something like that uh it's like look make sure you check the b-side um ever is giving me like forever like best friends forever uh one moment but so <laughs> the saying like the books are getting big in that song as well um so i don't know maybe you're working on your book maybe you're working on your influencer book right really getting rid of the hip dip <laughs> making them nice and round i don't know what you're up to leo um okay Yeah, so just be aware because I am getting two energies. It's like this is one person and this is another person. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the reading. I'm going to do the reading differently. I'm going to do the reading for both of you. Okay, person one, person one. Tell me about person one. What's going on for person one? If this makes sense to you, it's fine. Maybe one of the readings is for you. Maybe the one, one of the readings is for somebody else entirely who's not part of your situation so please do just take what what resonates and leave anything that doesn't uh the ocean the ocean is for person one what's going on for person two person two please yeah so you're going to get a bit of a different reading today leo what's going on for person two please thank you the lover right okay so maybe someone has a new lover, maybe somebody's interested, maybe someone wants to, I don't know, take a best friend relationship to another level, the shadow there, um, what's going on for person one please, can we get more for person one, so I'm just going to kind of pull all the cards and then we'll kind of compare them and see what's going on, person one, that's too many cards, can I just get one card please for person one, thank you, uh, the masculine, okay, so if one of you do identify as um male or the divine masculine you don't have to be uh like male sex or male gender to be the div divine masculine by the way just we all have divine masculine divine feminine within it within us maybe uh if this is some kind of partnership when maybe one of you uh tends to take the lead more tends to be a bit more dominant that would be this person or it could be that this person's just thinking about the masculine right the man um tell me about the lover please tell me about the lover Tell me about the lover, please. Focus. So th this is where it feels like there's some kind of change here with the butterfly. 
Um, also noticing again this, the eyes, it's like she's her eyes are above water but the rest of her is like below water so I don't know if you can see here yeah. it's like it's like this is kind of like shimmering and like a little bit harder to see but here the eyes are like emerging the clearer I don't know if she's had some kind of idea I'm saying she so again she he they take it as it resonates leave it if it doesn't if this is same sex that's fine um resilience on the bottom there okay so tell me more about uh, person one please person one whoa that absolutely shot off uh turtle energy well that makes sense you've got the ocean and turtle you could have a cancerian or somebody with cancerian placements um this person could be moving home they could be protecting themselves but they, he's very vulnerable here he's not wearing a top here so it's like he's showing that underbelly the turtle's like protecting it's shielding so it's interesting as well like because he's got the ocean look he's got the ocean and then like she's in the ocean it's like she's this it's like she's in this bubble right here's this it's it's an eye i think but let's just say this is this bubble it's like she's in his ocean she's in his feelings again i'm saying she and he but take it as it resonates switch it around if you need to what else please oh here we go the panther yeah that's divine feminine energy um this person could be very very intuitive um maybe a little bit psychic um strong uh kind of like shakti kind of energy sea serpent yeah again with like the kundalini energy um okay Who's who then? Okay. Um, I don't know which, I don't know what to do here. They're telling me plan B, which is the silly joke that I've been making this week. Plan B, uh, plan B. Okay. Death. The High Priestess. Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Death High Priestess, Page of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. And then over here, please. Nine of Wands in reverse, that's giving up. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, temperance. so let's get into it the ocean is a card about uh releasing things about cleansing yourself so it could be like having a salt bath for example uh it also can be like crying like when you cry salt tears right it's it's cleansing it's emotional release um let me grab the books i'll try and figure out what's going on over here ocean Like the word ocean itself could be interesting ocean um the unconscious the depths the incomprehensible okay so there could be something going on with this person's unconscious like uh it could be their dream state that's interesting because i didn't mention it but i've got i don't want to miss any miss a thing by Aerosmith on my notes i didn't see how it fit in at the time so i didn't mention it i was just going to put it in the uh, song list down below i don't want to miss a thing so it's like either these two people could possibly be connecting in the dream space or uh, dreaming about each other. Or it could be that this person uh, connects to almost like psychic energy with this high priestess here. Um, yeah, it's really interesting. Um, you see the two uh, sticks, like they kind of almost represent these two uh, columns that are either side of the high priestess this normally this area is veiled it's kind of misted in this card and that means uh the high priestess she sits 
um, in the space between uh, the 3D reality, our real world, and the kind of dream set space or subconscious or kind of psychic realm. She can go between the two. It also kind of does indicate, um, especially with this card here, it does indicate this going down into the underworld energy. It's like going into past lives or going into, um, you know, the realm of the unconscious, the 5D. Um, which would explain why the death card is here. It's like communicating. This person could, it's funny that I said I had a dream about my mum last night. My mum passed away at Christmas um, and it was the first time I'd dreamt about her. So I was really happy to see her in my dreams. So it's like, it could be that this person um, can, uh, you know, can see beyond the veil. Maybe they can communicate with spirits or they feel like they can or they sense you know, maybe this is the sort of person who um, would normally be the person who sees a ghost or senses a ghost or senses a spirit presence. Um, so it does feel like communicating with uh, the afterlife or remembering past lives or like sitting on the sitting in the liminal space between life and death. Right. It's like being able to go between the the two, I don't want to say death, like the subconscious or the uh, the soul experience rather than the um the physical experience and the soul experience so that feels like yeah maybe like communicating with the dead or something like that right or learning to do this as well like the page of pentacles is like a student energy it's a learning energy so the ocean um by the power of the ocean the power of the ocean is unmatched i really need to make sure I can, you can see all this yeah the power of the ocean is unmatched to step into its salty waters is to step into the unknown by the sheer volume the ocean represents the unconscious all that is beyond our understanding we cannot live within the ocean we cannot claim it manage it or own it it rejects our every effort to dominate nature and yet its overwhelming power with its overwhelming power it calls to us inspires us and invigorates our life on land it dissolves the little us into the big, big us. So here, what this is talking about to me is, um, again, it's like the land um, is uh, a metaphor for our physical environment, right? Our bodies, the things we can touch, um, the things that we can see uh, with our with our eyes, right? The things that are physically here. And the ocean is representing the unconscious or subconscious or dream space or afterlife energy, you know, spirit world energy. Um and yeah, so it's like, you can't live there. You can't live in that. You can't live in that watery space. You can't, you can't live in that, um, dream space. You have to come, you have to wake up, right? It's kind of like the matrix. Like you have to wake up. You have to come back to this, this realm and do like, you know, do your job. You need to do your, um, homework. I'm hearing you have to do your, um, you know, you have to look after your kids. You have to see your friends you have to do the things that you have to do in this like real life this real physical life and yet this dream space is calling um so it's kind of like it's like getting you know going to bed eager to perhaps meet with somebody in your dream or see somebody in your dream um it dissolves the little us into the big us when the energy of the ocean is present there is a change stirring that is beyond any any change you've known before the ego must dissolve. The saline swells work on your very cells, your fibres, your deepest underlying beliefs. Like Aphrodite, we rise from the ocean's froth. A new being. Life has changed like the wave crash. One of the big, biggest compliments I've ever had in my life, and it really stuck with me, was like when I was a teenager. I think it was about 15, maybe. Um, I went on holiday with my best, my best friend. It was funny talking about my best friend and her family. And um, we went to Greece. And I was uh, kind of meditating. Um, I've always done this thing where I've kind of... Um, you know, let my consciousness drift and expand, like, and touch the sky and dissolve into the ocean and, you know, being part of the whole, like, it's something that I've always kind of done naturally. Um, and I remember floating on my back in the ocean with the sun on my face and just imagining myself melting into the ocean and, like, you know, being part of that sunlight. And, um, I think I must have got very zen and so I think I was kind of like stumbling slightly out of the ocean uh it kind of a little bit heady as I kind of came out and um my friend's auntie said to me oh we were all sat, sat there watching you saying you look like Aphrodite coming out of the ocean it was like the biggest compliment I could as a Libra as well it's like the biggest compliment I could have ever had <laughs> so it's like proper stuck with me uh but it just reminds me of that memory um life is changed let the wave crash so like Aphrodite, we rise from the ocean's froth a new being. Life has changed, let the wave crash. 
When light, deeper than deep, big dreams and discovery. When dark, subsumed, drowned, polluted and unpredictable. Go deeper, Shakespeare's The Tempest. Uh, Gary, Gary Colt's The Raft of Medusa. Study waves, touch their surface, get in the water. No matter where you live, each drop is part of the whole. The ocean is in every tear. I wish I lived closer to an ocean. Um, the ocean displays every emotion without shame. To witness its glassy moonlight surface and its unforgiving storms is to know the full spectrum of the human experience. Yeah, I was thinking that actually. It's, um, you know, you can have a very calm, beautiful ocean. It can be a sunny day. The wa water can be like tepid or warm and inviting. Um, but that same ocean can also cause shipwrecks, right? It can be, it can, you know, if you've ever seen like a storm over the ocean with lightning and like the waves crashing, it's very dramatic there's a lot of power there right it's like it's i'm reading for two people but it could be the two sides of yourself there's definitely something because it's almost like this is aphrodite this is aphrodite like emerging from the water so again it could be some kind of transformation that you're having yourself maybe some of you are having like a like a sex change um you know uh going in maybe even being uh, unconscious as the procedure's done and waking up and you know um finally having the the body that you that you were destined to have for some of you but it does feel like divine masculine divine feminine here like this almost collaborative energy between them um okay let's read that masculine card just try and just get a sense of what's going on on this side of the table first uh 42 so we've got 35 42 It's time to step forward and lead. Be the leader of your own life. You have more power than you think. It is time to formally, formally learn more. Ah, student energy. Here, this is a student card. Uh, like somebody learning new skills. Um, it's time to learn more. Enroll in a course or learn a new skill. It's funny I was saying, have you handed in your homework? I am so upset because this is such a powerful reading. It's such an important reading. And the video cut out and you've missed so much. I, I got really emotional. Right, I have to do it. I have to do this reading, it's so important. It's like Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Um, what's happening over here? Um, so if I'm, I'm just gonna kind of abbreviate. Messy, messy table. So this came out in reverse. Um, okay, so what this person's doing on this side of the table, they're trying to build some kind of solid foundation. They're trying to establish some kind of security. Now they may have lost some kind of father figure. They may have a uh, uh, father, grandfather. It could also be like a boss, right? And to a working relationship. But there's something going on here where um, they're grappling with something. They're grappling with like tangible responsibilities. They, uh, they had some sort of plan here. This is like a student card. They may have actually been at university or something like this. But with this seven of, uh, ten of swords, it's like their plans. Um, it's like they got betrayed or something. It's like they got stabbed in the back. Um, you know, they had some kind of plan. They were building up a skill and, uh, yeah, ran into this ending, this betrayal ending. Um, this betrayal... Uh, card it feels it just feels like stabbed in the back it feels like even if it's not by a person it's like stabbed in the back by the universe they had a plan they had a plan to build up some kind of um stability some kind of security some kind of long-term plan and um you know something happened that created some kind of painful ending now it could be that this person has children you can see like this person here is almost this person in the background looking at these two children um it could be that they, they have children it could be that they're a single parent, uh, perhaps, uh, even though it's the masculine card, it could perhaps be uh, somebody lost their, their husband, you know, which incredibly painful. Um, but it could be a single parent energy or uh, it feels like somebody who has responsibility for other people. Um, so wanting to build security, wanting to establish something that's uh, like a secure ship, right? Uh, so it could be like building up money for the children's future, uh, something like this, uh, building up security for the children. Could also be building up security for the soulmate, but this is a very independent energy, a very abundant energy. But um, there is some kind of like, there is some kind of soulmate connection or um, soulmate connections around them. So whether this is parent child, whether this is like uh, friends, um, it's equal, emotional equal give and take, whatever this is. 
but the Hermit's in reverse, which tells me, um, and with this card here, which is the advice card for this person, which I will read in detail in a minute, um, I feel like they're so wrapped up in whatever's going on in their life, whatever's happened, maybe trying to self-protect a little bit here, self-protect in terms of uh, money and security and uh, like house, right? Having, you know, paying off the mortgage or um, making sure that they are not living paycheck to paycheck. They want some kind of um, like fin financial security, but it could be that they're getting so wrapped up in like money and work and uh, the 3D, like the practical, that they're, they're not actually they're not actually connecting into their biggest power, which is their spiritual connection, which is divine guidance, right? Uh, it's like they're ignoring um, their intuition or ignoring their, or not doing the soul searching that they should be doing. Um, so the advice card for this person is, um, um, I accidentally grabbed the wrong deck and the cards that came out were the Magician and the Eight of Fire. So it's like manifesting communication or manifesting action. Uh, the Magician, um, they tap into their dreams, they tap into um, creative energy, but they actually have the tools to make it happen. They have the tools to kind of like make it something that's real. So it's like they're trying to, this person's trying to manifest something, but they're missing that, the vital connection that the magician has with spirit, right? Because the hermit's in reverse. So what I'd like to see for this person is a high priestess and hermit in the upright, which is strong, strong spiritual guidance going within soul searching trusting the voice within right um and um using that voice within to powerfully manifest something it's like they're doing the work right they're putting the work in but it's going to go more quickly if they ask for spirit's help or they listen to that little voice inside right that's that's guiding them intuitively it has to be some kind of balance so beaver spirit lay solid foundation Beaver spirit is here to tell you about a power living within you that is born of spirit, the source from which all life arises. This is the power to establish the sacred connection with the universal consciousness so you can deliberately co-create the world you desire. Know that it takes work, determination and sustained effort to co-create co and lay a solid foundation for your dreams. I feel like they are working hard, they are determined, they, they have sustained effort, but with the hermit in reverse, it's like they're not quite... They're not quite tapping in to their full potential, which is this um, this universal universal consciousness within. Um, if with spirit as your partner, you you bring the twigs and branches of your intentions and desires and spread them across the river of time, you'll be amazed at what you can do. You will find that you can even change the direction of the flow of life. You can ensure that that your world will be prosperous and purposeful filled with love and joy and rich with magic and meaning. That which you desire will come to you and remain sustainably if you build the sturdy foundation. I feel like they know this. They're trying to build the sturdy foundation. They do not want to experience another tower moment. So this, this tower that they're building now, this home that they're building, whatever they're building, this future, um, they're doing it on secure foundations. They're doing it properly. I feel like they've learned lessons from whatever fell down, whatever hurt them in the past. So they're very, very fixated on the tangible, on the on the uh, abundance, on the money, on the security, um, which is causing them to lose this connection, this spiritual connection. Um, keep your intention and energy consistent and deliberate using all your resources because the, the magician has all the tools at his disposal, um, everything he needs he has. Um, Using all your resources and the energy of this wonderful, productive time, have faith for with spirit to co-create with you, your success is assured. Spirit is your partner, helping you along as you change the course of your life in the way your heart desires. Brilliant. Productive, determined, knows what they're doing. They've got a plan. They might have had to change the plan, but doing it, doing it, doing it and doing it well. They just need to make sure they flip that hermit into the upright, right? They need to do the soul searching. They need to get that divine inspiration and keep that connection alive. So even if this is just like 10 minutes of meditation at the end of the day, like they have to tap into that source. Like that is, you know, spirit. it's like for every step this person takes, sp spirit is going to take three, but they have to work. They have to use it. They have to use that connection because the magician, they have the cup, the wand, the sword and the pentacle. They have everything they need but they're manifesting with spirit. So take action on your dreams, manifest your dreams, you know, do what you're doing. 
this person is killing me over here. This person is absolutely killing me. They are having the worst, worst time of it, which is why they're getting this advice to like have self-care, you know, all that un unconditional love that you have, I want to say for this person, um, pour it into yourself right now. So this person is, uh, this person's in this place where it's like, I can't do this anymore. I mean, I'm exhausted. I'm physically and mentally tortured here like i feel like there's this huge blockage i feel rejected i feel out in the cold i feel pushed away i feel like oh it's just it's just awful it's just awful so they've got the nine of wands in the reverse which is um this is perseverance this is fighting battles this is going into the shadow realm and fighting your demons fighting your monsters and um, in the reverse, it's giving up. I can't do it anymore. I'm, I, I don't have the strength to keep doing this. I can't do it anymore. I have to, I have to give up. Um, and the reason why it's so awful is they're not just physically exhausted from this. They're mentally, mentally tortured as well. This is bad physical health, bad men mental health. Um, they have to turn that wheel of fortune. I misread it as the world card, which is like, I've learned my lessons from this. Um, I'm going to go forward into a new cycle here. The wheel card is a new cycle as well. Um, I'm going to go forward into a new cycle um, where I am going to focus on myself and uh, create my own prosperity, my own abundance, because um, I cannot keep waiting for this person to show up because they're not showing up. So... That, that's like that is like mental and physical torture like the, the torturing themselves so why right why why do they feel shut out why do they feel out in the cold why do they feel rejected uh because they are they're rejected four of ones is um an event a milestone a home um you, f you know this is the strong foundations that this person's laying and yeah it's like the devil's keeping them apart the devil they're chained right they're chained together but separated it's like chained together forced apart it's it's like ugh, feels like almost like an unbreakable bond it's like it should be the lovers it should be the lovers card it should be a divinely guided connection and yet it's turned karmic and it's turned karmic because this person's out in the cold because this person is obsessing they cannot it's like they've persevered with it for as long as they can they've stood the ground for as long as they can but they are at a point where they have nothing left to give. They are like, it's like absolute exhaustion. Um, and it's like, why, why are they here? Why are they, why are they at this point? What's, what is, has been keeping them chained and what's been keeping them chained is that this person is, whether they are or not, I want to say they are, I want to say that they are, they do have this spiritual connection. They do. It's the lover's card, right? They do have, it's meant to be the lover's card. And yet this person is so focused with, with whatever it is that they're doing, like whatever it is like money, trying to get some kind of like career promotion of a certain position, you know, trying to buy a certain house or raise a certain amount of money, whatever it is that this person's building, they are trying to build that four of wands. Um, it's like this person here is the prince charming this person this is the happily ever after card right and this is the king of love it's like this person i want to say that they do have deep deep feelings right this person has deep feelings this person can sense it like the high priestess on this side as well this person can sense it they know they have deep feelings they know that they could be the happily ever after they know that this is their handsome prince this is their happy ending right and yet they're not speaking the king of cups holds back right the king of cups kind of again with this all this Scorpio energy they they feel it on an intuitive level but they don't speak it so uh, I mean they do but it's when they speak it's very deliberate so it's like of course this person's obsessed of course this person's holding on to this because it's the happily ever after it's everything they could have ever wanted right it's the end of the fairy tale it's like it's complete happiness. It's complete wish fulfillment. It's everything they could have wanted. It's their happiness. It's their happily, it's their happily, happily ever after. So that's why the chain to it. But yet this devil energy, this blockage is keeping them apart. So they're absolutely exhausted, absolutely exhausted. And this eight of cards can, eight of cups can be longing. It's like 
something's missing you know there's something missing in my heart i'm longing for something i'm longing for that emotional fulfillment and yet her hands are tied and it's just it just feels like two people who should be together who aren't together like the, the devil's causing some kind of blockage and like you know like the strength is draining from this the strength is draining and it's like an unbreakable bond as well so like even if this person's trying to walk away from it like it's going to take so much time because it's like um slow i can't speak slow motion by charlotte lawrence i'll be moving on in slow motion it's like trying to move on trying to move on for their own good trying to move on for their own mental health for their own physical well-being uh, because it's like it's they're obsessed with it because they're obsessed with it because it's it's the happily ever after, you know? And they've held on to it for so long and yet this nine of wands is like it just feels like utter exhaustion, like so much anxiety, so many sleepless nights, so much so it's like can't stop thinking about it. So completely exhausted and yet still out in the cold, still it's just longing, it's longing for the fairy tale ending, it's longing for the handsome prince. So this person so far is really getting this message of right now you have to shut the door, you have to walk away from this, you have to you have to look after yourself, right? You, ca you can't give if you're in this energy. It's interesting that uh, Venus and Pluto and Mars, I think, like there's a lot of stuff going on in Capricorn and this is Capricorn. Um, I, th I feel like this is a reading because all those planets are like uh, smushed together in that sign at the moment. That's kind of how it feels. Uh, Venus is the, you know, divine feminine. Mars is divine masculine. So, <sighs> chained together, but chained, chained together, but those chains are being used to pull them apart. It's the most, it just feels un incredibly unfair. So yeah, this person has to, and it's like the Ten of Cups as well, this person's on their own in this Ten of Cups. It's like they have to, they have to look after themselves, they have to look after them, their health. They have to find some way of pulling away from this because it's exhausting them. So their advice, this person's advice please, this is kind of where I go to. Advice for this person please, advice for this person, advice for this person. 53 uh watch and wait it's like they can't they can't know this is the thing they're being told to wait right they're being told to be temperate they're told to be patient they're told that you know things take time and it's funny it's a seahorse as well right it's a seahorse they're kind of traditionally uh, a a animal that's associated with like pairing up like pairing up for life watch and wait and they're watch they're looking this way it's like they know it's like they know that this person's busy this person's working on something and yet they just can't, it's like the longer the waiting, the tighter those ch devil's chains become. And the devil's chains are keeping them in this feeling of not being good enough. What's wrong with me? Why is the door shut? Do I have to walk away from this? I'm longing for it because it feels like my happily ever after. And yet I'm totally in my head about it. I can't sleep. I, you know, I'm exhausted. But the advice is watch and wait. Watch and wait. Be fearless and bold on the on the bottom. Watch and wait. Like, just feel like they feel like they don't have the strength. Like they, you know, they're waiting so long. They're not going to have anything to give. Like, because whatever it's like their energy is getting totally drained if this is some kind of twin flame connection um sometimes what can happen in those kind of connections is if one person is doing something and it's taking a lot of energy so if this person's doing something where i don't know they're working really really hard or something it's like the other person gets drained it's there's an energetic link so um it should be balanced right it should be the cord should be balanced it should energize both ways you know if you think of magnets energizing but what's happening is like whatever this person's doing they they it's like they're sucking all the energy out of this person which is why the devil card's here which is why it's the devil card and not the lover's card because the lover's card is balanced and the devil card is toxic and at the moment and i don't think it's like 
it doesn't feel like this person's toxic. It feels like, it feels like there's something going on in the connection right now where it's not balanced. Um, and it just feels like all the actions on this person's side and this person's energetically giving, energetically giving. It's like this person, it's like this person's resources, this person's battery is being bolstered by this person's battery, but their battery's on empty, right? It's like their battery, you don't want the battery to die. So it's like, you have to, you have to pull back. You have to pull back your energy because, so it's like, it doesn't mean that you, it doesn't mean that you have to give up. It doesn't mean you have to cut the cord. It doesn't mean that you have to, it feels like this person's been energetically sending support and emotions and psychic stuff to this person. But it like they're at a point now where they have to recharge their own battery, right? They have to rest. They have to walk away. They have to distance themselves. They have to, I don't know, have a bath. Um, Let's just read the card. Um, hovering gracefully, the, seaho the seahorse observes with the perspective of one who is not engulfed by the drama, remaining at a distance from all the turbulence. Wasn't I saying that? I don't know if it got cut out or not. I was saying that there's a, a bit of drama going on at, at the moment um, online for me. Um, and I've just been in this kind of high priestess energy of like watching but holding back. Um, it could be that they're both in this King of Cups energy of loving but holding back, having emotion, having a lot of compassion, but not necessarily speaking it, right? Knowing that there's a time and a place. Yeah, this because this is like divine timing, the right time. So it's like, it just feels like they're both in this kind of like King of Cups High Priestess energy, King of Cups High Priestess, where it's like, where did that King of Cups go? Uh, the happily ever after King, I think he's he ran off <laughs> um so yeah just, just like watch and wait like yeah watch and wait watch and wait right there's a right time hovering gracefully the seahorse observes with the perspective of one who is not engulfed by the drama remaining at a distance from all the turbulence seahorse spirit arrives at this time to remind you of the need to be neutral and gain perspective your message from seahorse spirit is not my circus, not my monkeys. Spirit wants you to know that even if you are tempted to jump into the fray and try and fix things, I've been feeling that energy. The best way to serve yourself and others right now is to remain calm and simply watch and see, right? This energy, it's like very plutonic, watch and see. Deep emotions, but not necessarily engaging with, uh, it's like something's, it's almost like something's trying to provoke an emotional response or something within you there's an emotional response being triggered it could be protective right especially if they're you know you you especially if there's someone around you who you have a lot of love for or uh, a, a circumstance a circus that you have a lot of love for you know you want to step in you want to protect it it's like on so social media when you see your friends getting into an argument and you kind of want to go and back them up but it's like it's just like this pullback on both sides energy like watch and wait um Another message here is that whatever your query, Seahorse Spirit asks you to step back from it. Yeah, like this emotional distance, right? Step back from it, be willing to explore things from different angles rather than a single one, and just observe, observe what is possible. From the perspective of the position of the neutral observer, you will discover a myriad of opportunities and a deeper understanding of what you seek and why. And you will know beauty, truth, love and wisdom. So it could be that this is, um, it doesn't have to be lovers right it doesn't have to be sexual it could be a relationship where there's deep deep love a deep spiritual connection between two people it could be um brother and sister it could be uh best friends you know we had that that song you're my best friend you're a real bad bitch so um it does feel like there's a huge a lot of support here i feel like it's a bit of a thing with gemini's reading i feel like gemini had this thing where it's like uh you know seeing uh seeing your best friend get promoted or um you know your ex it could be like you know somebody that you have deep deep love for re like real love for like somebody that you want to be with and um you know feeling out in the cold and feeling rejected and feeling like um i wish this person was mine but they're not 
um, but I still love them and I still want them to do well. I still want them to get, I don't know, that job that they're going for. I still want to see them be successful. And then emotionally giving, emotionally giving to this person, even though perhaps they're not meant to be yours, right? Um, but maybe this relationship could have a different form. Maybe this could be best friends. Uh, and maybe it would be better in that form. I don't know. I don't know. It's like, why do you have to define it as well? Why do you have to put a label on it? Like, if there's a really strong spiritual connection between two people, it's kind of like, it's like mutual support. Mutual support and mutual protection. It's like having each other's back. It's like, maybe this person's getting in their own head because they're trying to define it. It's like, is is this person my husband, like my future husband? Is this person my Prince Charming? Is this person my best friend? Is this, it's like, I feel so much love for this person. I feel like such a strong connection with this person. And I know that they have love for me. So what is it? Like, what, where is this going? So this could be what's causing this person to get in their head, where actually it might just be go with the flow, right? Look after yourself, replenish your own stock. Um, and just see where it goes. Just enjoy the fact that you have a spiritual connection with somebody. Enjoy the fact that there's somebody out there in the world who you have this strong emotional bond with. And don't label it because it's so unique and so special and it goes beyond mundane labels, right? It's not, it's, it's, it's something more. So why would you try and, why would you, why would you try and turn it into something that's like mundane? I don't know I, I'm just spitballing it could be the answer so uh, <laughs> I feel like I need something else let's get you a song let's get you a couple of words and a song so just a little bit more advice uh just a couple of words to indicate a direction for this person please um a friend I mean maybe start off as friends see where it goes maybe that's what this person wants I don't know especially if they've lost someone like a partner um Oh, an intimate, intimate friend. <laughs> ah, friends who, uh, friends who, I don't know. <laughs> an intimate friend. I mean, that's nice too. Like, intimate has different meanings. It doesn't have to be sexual as well. Like, it can be somebody that you're very, very close to, you share everything with. Uh, so, indicate some direction, please, for person B. Uh, so, this person, who are they? What's their help them understand the direction that they're supposed to go in i mean they're not going in any direction they're sat there waiting woman 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 that's um so i married an axe murderer by uh uh what's his name mike myers uh the guy who played austin powers his film so i married an axe murderer and he does this uh it's like a jazz thing woman woman um autumn Oh god, you have to wait till autumn. Oh my god, that is... <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry if that's your advice. That's like pretty hard. Um, rapture. You're gonna get intimate in autumn and you're gonna have... Uh... <laughs> you're gonna have some good times. Uh, right, I don't know. There you go. That's your advice. I hope that helps. Uh, let's get you a song. I'm gonna get both, of this, both sides a song. So... What do we have here? See, told you don't want to miss a thing was a thing. Um, advice for this person, some guidance, some advice, even if it's just something that this piece person needs to wake up and realise. Help this person, please, in the next stage of the journey. Music to watch boys to by Lana Del Rey. I like you a lot, putting on my music while I'm watching the boys. So I do what you, I do what you want, singing soft grunge just to soak up the noise. Wear ribbons on ice, playing their guitars. Um, only one of my toys. Cause I like you a lot. No holds barred. I've been sent to destroy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, pink flamingos always fascinated me. I know what only the girls know. Um, hose with lies akin to me. Oh, oh, I see you going. So I play my music, watch you leave. I like you a lot. Um, no holds barred. I've been sent to destroy. Yeah. Velveteen and living single. Single, right? The person's showing a single. Um, it never felt right, that right to me. It never felt that right to me. I know what only the girls know. Lies come by eternity. I see you leaving, so I push record and watch you leave. 
um, live to love you and I love to love you and I live to love you. Nothing, nothing gold can stay like love or lemonade or sun or summer days. It's all a game to me anyway. This per it's not a game for this person. This person's... It's like they've given this connection everything that it could possibly give. So if this person's wondering if this person is seeing it as a game or seeing it as like... I don't know, maybe this person... This person is obsessed. This person is like... They know that this person's their happily ever after or they feel like this person's their happily ever after. This is This person's not playing games. Is this person playing games? Sent to destroy. Mm. This person, please. Maybe could that, I mean, that's, maybe the sense in this energy, this panther energy, it's uh, incredibly powerful. So uh, it, it could be sending off warning signals, possibly. But it's, it's like passion or determination. Like, I want to say this person, like, if that nine of wands was in the upright, this person would be incredible. Like the power and determination and perseverance and strength that this person would be showing. But it's like everybody gets to a point where the battery runs out and this person's hit that brick wall, I feel. Or they're about to. Interesting with the chariot card there. Um, this person, please. So advice or a wake-up call. What, what needs to be heard? What this person needs to understand? Uh, what was that play? I didn't quite see it. I'm going to have to pause and just uh, let the advert play out and um, we'll see what that song was. It was called Play. I didn't see the artist. <laughs> it wasn't Play. It was Pray by Take That. Um, all I do each night is pray. That hoping that I'll be a part of you again someday. Um, so, um, uh, when the time grew near for me to show my love, the longer I stayed away for hiding from a word I need to hear now, I don't think I'll hear it again. But the nights were always warm with you, holding you right by my side. But the morning always comes too soon before I even close my eyes. Again, this thing about sleep, right? Um, all I do each night is pray, hoping that I'll be a part of you again someday. All I do each night is think of all the times I close the door. I feel like this is this person talking to you because they're the one closing the door, right? Of all the times I close the door to keep my love within. Like King of, yeah, King of Cups, keeping the love bottled up, right? I mean, they've got emotional balance, right? But they don't always express what they're feeling. It's like they know there's a time and a place. So they, they, I, I, this, this is the thing this person knows, right? It's like they know that there's deep love there. And yet... It's like they feel it. Um, if you can't forgive the past, I'll understand that. Can't understand why I did this to you. And all of the days and the nights, I regret it. I never showed you my love. Surely, surely we must be in sight of all the dreams we long to live. If you stop and close your eyes, you'll picture me inside. I'm so cold and all alone. Straight on back to me. Um, yeah, time is running out. You and me, harmony. Uh, forevermore, that's what I told you. Ooh, this reading is making me so sad. It's draining me as well. I'm getting into it because I tap into the energy. I'm getting into this like absolutely exhausted energy. It's, I just feel like I need to go back to bed. Hurts. This reading hurts. Advice, please, for both people. Advice, please, for anyone watching this reading who needs a bit more advice. Acceptance. Uh, gratitude. I think gratitude was mentioned at one point. Gratitude and acceptance. Is this accepting the connection or accepting the state of the connection? There's a difference, right? Four as well. Four, fours again are about foundations. Acceptance of the current situation is the first step to change. The past does not exist. The future hasn't happened. There is only right now. I accept where I am and who I am right now. When we examine our... Oh, oh God, I felt something. Whoa. Okay, all this person wants... Like, I don't know what... I don't know what happened in the past. 
I don't know what happened in the past. I don't know if there's like that betrayal there. Um, like the door shut, betrayed. I don't, I don't know, right? Um, I closed the door and kept my love within. Um, I don't know what happened in this connection. I don't know. I don't know. It has this feeling of like, I don't know what happened in the past. I don't know what's going to happen in the future. Oh, the feelings. It's like, sorry. God, it's just overwhelm. It's just, all, I, all I can see is love. All I see is love. Um, so strongly on this side. Again, with that happily ever after energy. And... Um, I don't know. They're giving me all you need is love. Okay, I'm just gonna read it. Um, I, I want to say if somebody's if somebody's wondering if somebody's wondering will they forgive me? I want to say yeah. I don't. I want to say that very strongly on this side. This person just wants that person. like all they think about obsessively um okay. i accept where i am and who i am right now when we examine our lives and i think that's what's hurting this person is this projection like what does this mean where is this going so if they can just pull back and focus on the here and now i think that's going to be what this person needs to do uh, when we when we examine our lives and engage in some sort of truth telling we are often confronted with what really is this realization is powerful but often we reject this truth if it's too hard to bear or we are afraid of accepting something so difficult each of us at some time has dodged our, dodged our blind spots and then had the illumination of what actually is eventually confront us what we do next is crucial we do not accept exactly where we are no matter how painful or uh, confronting or do we retreat back into our illusions and remain stuck or unchanging choosing to accept ourselves fully and the position we are in enables us to take that step towards growth when we can plant our feet solidly into the earth and say yes here is here is exactly where i am and i accept this fully we can take the next steps confidently honestly and powerfully towards where we now wish to be to head Accepting uh, where we are right now in its fullness allows us to also accept that there may be some chaos in our change before there is full order again. This can be an exciting feeling rather than, than one that gener generates fear if we hold our new intentions clearly. And it says Lepidolite is the uh, companion stone for that one, or metal. Um, right, okay, I hope that was helpful. I want another song. I want another song for the pair of you. Again, it's like, it could be like this person just wants to be friends. Um, and this person's wanting romance, but if I don't, maybe there needs to be an honest communication about that, because this person doesn't know. Like they just feel out in the cold, and like it's there's a lot of confusion. I want to say where this person's it's like, oh, this person's completely focused on building up some kind of money or wealth or property or something. Right, okay, I want a song for the both of them, a song for the a song for the connection itself, a song for the middle ground. Early winter, no. Um, you know how to get me so low. My heart had a crush when we spoke. I can't fix what you broke, and you you always have a reason. Again and again this feeling, why do I give in? And I always was one for crying. I always was one for tears. <sighs> The sun's getting cold, it's snowing. It looks like an early winter for us. Oh, I need you to turn me over. It's sad the map of the world. It's sad the map of the world is on you. The moon gravitates around you. The seasons escape you. And I always was one for crying. Always was one for tears. But I never was one for lying. You lied to me all these years. Why do you act so stupid? Why? You know that I'm always right. It hurts and I can't remember the sunlight. The leaves are changing colour for us. It's like we've got autumn. Um, it gets too much. It gets so much starting over and over and over again. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. It hurts too much. All right. Well, yeah, I can feel it. It hurts. <laughs> um, I hope you're okay. Those of you watching this who are resonating with this. I hope you're okay. That's uh, This was a very, very challenging reading for me. There's some strong, strong feelings in here. A lot of pain. Um, and... Yeah, so just back to your advice. This person... Lay a solid foundation but manifest with spirit. Make sure that you're not doing everything on a practical level. Make sure you're also doing your soul searching. You know, being honest with what your soul needs, what your soul wants. And make sure you connect with uh, that, that universal energy, that spiritual energy that's trying to assist you here. Whatever it is that you're doing, whatever steps you're taking. This person over here absolutely has to pull back their own energy. They have to focus on loving themselves. They have to, uh, wherever this connection is going, right now this person's going to burn out, they, they're getting unhealthy, and they have to, they have to nurture themselves right now, uh, which, you know, take a page out of this person's book, you know, let this person teach you something, because the Nine of Pentacles is a card about um, self-reliance, self-nurturing, uh, you know, eating well, sleeping well, um, you know, pampering yourself, having that spa day, so uh, pull your energy back and love yourself, with as much love as that you want to give to this person. All right, I hope it was helpful. Do you please take care of yourselves and uh, leave me a like if, if you liked and all that kind of business. I feel really like horrible saying that, so I'm just gonna not. Um, yeah, and I will. I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.